top of the morning. Um, hey, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. That's nice. I just fumbled a massive bag. Actually, it might be for the best. Um, but I was in Creator Accelerator and this fitness creator reached out to me. He has 16K followers, which is not a ton, but it's a good amount. He's got, in some of his reels, he's getting like millions of views, like relatively consistently millions of views. So he's popping off. He slides into my DMs. He's like, yo, I see you're the most active person in this community. Are you good at building paid communities? And I was just like, uh, I'm a little new. Like, I'm not the best. <laughs> just like typical self-sabotaging Brayden. Um, but anyways, um, I guess a good lesson for future and to not self-sabotage myself but I think, I think it might be just be for the best because I just launched with Carl. We're not making very much money yet and I need to just double down and focus on him and like actually get some traction going um, instead of like diverting my focus on like some random 16K follower dude. Um, so yeah, but yeah it's just kind of <laughs> kind of funny it's like a common theme where i'll like talk myself down i i need to have more confidence like i know it's easier said than done but i i need to have a bigger dick and and like trust myself more but then again like i, I didn't want to lie he was like are you good at building paid communities and it's like <laughs> i literally just launched my first community and I've only made 49 bucks, so um, I was just being honest. And <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't really mind. Like I'm, I'm still gonna make money with Carl. Where he just launched a, a story today. Hopefully, we'll get some some DMs, and I'll close another client. I'm looking to close at least one person a day. Like if I can keep closing at least one person a day, then I'll be happy. And then the cool thing about low ticket is that revenue just stacks up. Um, <clears throat> like it's not, it's not big money, but it's recurring money and it's just gonna keep stacking up. So like if I, if I close one person at 49 bucks a month and We'll, we'll see what churn is because um, it's pretty new. It's not very built out, so churn might be kind of high. But we're going to keep adding more shit and making it fire. Um, but right now, I just need to sell people into the community and get feedback. I need to get some feedback first before I start like adding shit to the community. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep marketing, keep selling, and then in any free time that I have, I guess I'll focus on improving the community, making the experience better. But yeah, I also want more members because I want I want to make this community active. Like it, it's not very active right now. So I want to sell more people and to, to get more of an active, thriving community. And yeah, like it, it's just like a, a slow grind right now and it's sad because I'm in Creator Accelerator which is this huge community that's doing amazing and like I know what a good community looks like and I'm the most active member in like one of the best communities on school and then and then my own community that I created is like terrible <laughs> but again I launched like a couple of days ago and I've never done this before so I, I guess it makes sense that it's not exceptional. Gotta give myself some of my own advice. But yeah, like really the main thing I think right now is just driving traffic and, and getting the actual sales process dialed in. But I think, I think I'm pretty good at sales actually. I think I'm really good at sales. Um, 
and I think the VSO is converting well and all we need is Carl to just drive more traffic but also like we'll see um because with our initial test size it was like five people and out of those five people our percentages were really high but then now we've gotten more people in and the percentages are a lot lower but still we've only gotten 15 organic or 15 VSL views which is like not much so gonna gonna keep testing shit keep throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks oh shit I just realized I took the wrong exit lucky hell I actually have no idea where any of this goes I was too deep in my thought <laughs> but yeah it's like it's also just testing my patience like patience is a huge thing that I'm I'm working on and I need to get better at it but this whole process is definitely making me a more patient person um, cause there's a lot I'm having to wait for and any any endeavor in which you have a partner you're gonna need to learn some patience because okay, I actually have no idea where I am right now <laughs> but any endeavor in which you have a partner you need to have patience because you guys are both gonna be on different wavelengths and you need to you need to learn how to work with a partner and you need to you need to learn how to how to wait and see their vision and you need to also learn how to get them to see your vision and and you need to have aligned visions or else you're going to fail or it'll be it'll be a rocky relationship but that's part of what I think is so cool about being a growth operator is that you you really like build up your people skills super quickly and and I mean like ev you build up every skill really quickly like you you learn copywriting you learn content you learn sales you learn DM closing you learn fulfillment you learn client success you learn product um holy shit that guy's cruising These cars are actually going so fast on like a 30 mile per hour road, right? They're going like 60 on a 35. But, uh, that's not, that's not to say that growth operating is easy. I actually think it's like, it's really fucking hard because there, there are so many moving parts and it's such a dynamic business model for a beginner. Like you, you start and you have you like you have to close a creator you have to find someone who has been posting online for a long time partner with them and and like a being a growth operator is like you you launch different businesses so like you you launch with the you close a creator and then you work with that creator but then that's like a short term but well, it's not always a short-term partnership, but I think more often than not, it's a short-term partnership. And then you have to get a new creator, start a new business, grow that. So, so you're you're really growing your skills a lot, and it's not like a it, it's not a thing that's been around for too long. So, so it's still growing, and it's it's still like people are still figuring out how it works <clears throat> but yeah um dude these these cars are actually insane i'm very like there there is the the informed optimism or uninformed optimism, informed pessimism, 
valley of despair and then you niche hop that's what i did with the agency i had the agency actually it wasn't even that it was more just like <laughs> i bought a course i i had my agency i bought a course that i thought would teach me how to start a social funnel and get clients for my agency but then it turned into growth operating and and then i was like oh shit this makes sense and then i shut down my agency and went all in on growth operating which um i don't know maybe i was stupid for doing that maybe i'm missing out on money or maybe it was like a very good decision like who knows but i've already made the jump i'm already like kind of deep into growth operating so like I, i'm just gonna stick with it because anything like you can be successful with anything it's just about how much time and effort you put into it and like i've already put so much time and effort into growth operating so i may as well just stick with it and it's also so much more fun like having a community and being an agency owner is so lonely like you you just sit by yourself and and it's so boring too it's it's and like your whole focus is outreach like it, it sucks ass so I, i'm glad that i shut down my agency and operating is lit yeah i just got to the gym i'm gonna go hit some legs and then get to my day and start grinding what's up everybody just hit a fire legs and abs day i was dm closing at the gym which is super hype i got i think i closed two people i'm, I'm just waiting for them to pay so that's super hype um one of them was a little sketched out because she noticed that i wasn't talking how carl normally talks and she's one of carl's like previous clients so so yeah but i think i still closed her like carl sent her a voice memo so she knew it was him so i think that's that's good we ho we probably closed her and then there's this other lady too who i just sent the link she hasn't she hasn't seen that i sent her the link yet but one thing i noticed is if i click copy link on my school account and send it then it says Braden Barkmeyer invited you, so I need to copy the link on Carl's school account and send it. So it says Carl invited you. Um, but yeah, I I'm hyped. About to be raking in 140 or 150 dollars per month. <laughs> Big bucks, but it's it's just slowly gonna stack up from there. I'm getting better at DM closing. I know that the um, the VSL is converting, um, my DMs are converting. The only thing is just Carl needs more traffic and, and Carl's just finding his voice on social media. Like he, he's just, his engagement's gone down a little bit cause he's switched up his content, but um, we're optimizing for conversions now instead of engagement and it's super fire. Even though his story only got 150 views, we got three people swiping up on it. So that's, that's gas um so so yeah gonna i mean I, i'm still waiting on the payment link for them so i'm not gonna celebrate too early but still just like su super exciting that i'm i'm starting to make some money online and yeah um i just i was getting like really pissed when i was in the gym though because i like self-sabotaged myself with that other fitness creator which now i'm glad that i didn't I, like now that i'm like thinking a little more clearly i'm glad that i didn't link up with him because that would have been bad to be focusing on two communities at once and also um i was just upset that carl's engagement's so trash right now but like I, I'm just gonna have to get accustomed to it. Um, oh shit! One of the people just tried it, and she said the link's not working. So I'm gonna have to resend that. But yeah, I'm I'm cooking. I'm cooking with gas. This is super hype. Your boy is an epic fail artist. 
I I uh, sent an invite link through my account on mm. Carl's DM thing. So so this lady was like, "What the hell?" It says Braden Barkmeyer is inviting me, and and then she got sketched out and thought it was a bot, and so she left. And another person. I sent them the invite link, but for some reason it gave them free access, free lifetime access. So I had to kick her out and then send her a, like a payment link again. And I'm still waiting for her to open that. So yeah, kind of kind of annoying just waiting, seeing if she responds. So yeah, we're back down, <laughs> down to one member again, one paying member, but We'll see. We can probably get at least one person. I, I bet I bet they'll both join. I'm um, still waiting. But I also have some people to follow up with. But yeah, epic fail.